So maybe you've visited Sarasota in the wintertime and you thought it was gorgeous and wonderful, but you're wondering how could someone live there in the summer when you know it's brutally hot? Well, this video is for you. Hey everyone, Mariah Talia Faro with Premier Sotheby's. Check out all of our other videos because we're doing videos every week about what it's like to live here. This video is about summertime in Sarasota. It is brutally hot here. There is no denying that. It gets up to 95 degrees. With the humidity, it sometimes feels like it's 150. That's kind of sarcasm, but it's really hot. But we love it anyway because there's so many activities to do even in the summertime. So let's kind of run through those. So the prime times to really be outside would be any time before 9 a.m. or after 6 p.m. That time in between is going to be a little tough. So don't expect to do any yard work. You can run errands as long as you have your air conditioning on full blast. Um, you know, doing anything outside could be a little bit challenging unless you're doing activities that are close to the water, on the water, or something a little bit more active. So. Favorite activities that a lot of my friends and I enjoy would be boating. So anytime you're out on the water, it's 75 degrees in the water. It feels so fresh and perfect. So boating is a great activity to do or any type of water sport. The beautiful, delicious breeze that comes off the bay is just amazing. So when you find yourself downtown or on any of the barrier islands, it actually feels a lot cooler than if you're away from the water, like out east. So going back to those water activities, those really would be like kayaking, uh, foiling, being on the water on a boat or on a jet ski, snorkeling, scuba diving, um, a lot of other you know things that you can do on the water. But people also love to go to the beach and there's good reason for that. You get a lot of great sun. With that sea breeze, it feels really nice and the beaches are really popular in the summer. I personally like to really stay inside and I love to go to the museums because they're air conditioned, they're beautiful and it's a great activity to do. So we have many different museums between the Ringling Museum, the Sarasota Modern Museum and others. So that's a great activity to do or even go to Selby Gardens because it's quite shaded and you again get that great breeze. Ooh. We also have a theater downtown that has $7 movie tickets. So those are matinee performances too. A lot of other people like to do sunset picnics on the Bayfront Park, Celery Fields out east, or any of the other parks on the water. Another activity that a lot of people like to do are bar crawls. Some of the top bars that people like to go to would be Brewster's, O'Leary's, Cask and Ale, Evie's, Tavern, just to name a couple. And you can really end at O'Leary's, which is the best spot to watch the sunset. Another activity would be going to watch the sunset on the rooftops, either at Art Ovation, Sage Downtown, or the Westin Sarasota. So summertime can be peak time for the sun, but it's not necessarily the case for the tourists, which is really nice. So traffic is low. Uh, getting into restaurants is really easy. The beach isn't super crowded. So a lot of the locals really love Sarasota in the summertime because it's a lot more low key. So as you can see, your life doesn't have to stop in the summer and nor do you not have to be in Sarasota when it's in the summertime. Of course, if you have any questions about summer in Sarasota, Sarasota market, information in general, or anything real estate related, you can reach out to me anytime or drop your comments below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so it's shared with other people who might find this content helpful.